All right, welcome to uh, the TAR studio in uh, Las Vegas. This is TAR podcast number 37. That's your age. 38. 38. See, I said it wrong already. That's yeah. your age, isn't it? Yeah, that's my uh, that's age. That's your yeah. age. 38, yeah. Yeah, we're with Francisco Bustamante, and he's here in town because of the TAR match number 33, which is this weekend, between him and Mr. Alex Pagalion. And that's an all around. It's three days. It is three days. We had some people questioning if he, somebody wins two, do we play the third one? Yes, we do. There are three different individual competitions and disciplines. The first day is eight ball, race to 20. Second day is one pocket, race to eight. And the third day is 10 ball, race to 27. Um, first of all, we're sponsored by OB. And please notice the logo. It's now OB and not OBQs. They're rebranding a little bit, so still the same folks. Kamui Tips and John Bertone and those people, we really appreciate them, and CSI. What you got to say, man? Welcome to America. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. You been hitting the balls? Yeah. You been, you been playing good? Oh, I play a lot of pool. I'll bet you do. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why you're so good. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you know, you had a great, you did great at the Derby City, man. That was, that yeah. was great to see you win the all-around and get the check and everything and... Yeah, I was and then surprised. You, uh, then you went and did, uh, you won the bar table. You won another tournament at... Uh, in in, in uh, uh, White Diamond. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you're on fire. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes old men can fire too. Okay, we're well, not old. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Um, we had some questions. Uh, your cue stick, and we'll, when we get into this a little bit, we'll have you shoot some shots and talk about aiming and all those things. Yeah. But briefly, your cue stick is made by... Uh, Germany. Uh, bear cue. Bear, B-E-H-R. No, B E A R. B E A R, okay. Yeah. And it's 23? Uh, no, 21. 21, okay. 21 ounces. Okay, yeah. Still pretty heavy. Yeah. You've been playing with that stick for a long time. Yeah, almost uh, four years now. Four years? Yes, sir. Yeah. And you you lived in Germany back when the first time I saw you was when you came over for the uh, LA Open. Yeah, and that's uh, in the bicycle club. No, this is one that Jay Helfer, uh, I was involved in, but it was oh, one of the hotels. In, uh, Burbank. Burbank, yes. Burbank uh, 91 yes. or 92? And, 92. And Robin Dodson uh, said, watch this kid. Because she knew you from, because she'd been over to Germany. Because you lived in Germany for several years? Yes, sir, uh, 12 yeah. years. 12 years? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, long time. Yeah. That's why just I playing pool? Speak the language. Yeah, just playing pool. I work in the pool room like a house <laughs> pro. Really? Yeah. But all I know is, out of all those players in this big old pool room, you could hear him break. Literally, you could hear him. He was louder than everybody. That's when you were a kid. Boy, you're, you were up in the air, and bam, you crashed the balls. Yeah. Oh. You still hit them pretty hard. You know? Before, you know, I break uh, 34 miles per hour. 34? Yeah. <laughs> and now I got little baby here. <laughs> so I still can break little, yeah. maybe less. That's impressive. Yeah. Any uh, comments on this match? Well, Other than you're glad to be here and take our money or nothing? Well, else? you know, it's uh, especially I just want to thank uh, Tutar uh, for inviting me again, and especially uh, Mark, you know, the BCA, you know. Yeah. Well, thank you. BCA pooling. Yeah, pooling. Got to always keep them separate. It's confusing. And Mark Griffin, always uh, thank you for him. Always invite me, sir. And uh, it's my uh, pressure. Okay. No, you're a gentleman uh, and a great pool player. Thank you, sir. You know, and I'm, I'm proud to be, to say I know you. Um, thank you, so. I just heard from Alex. He said he'll be here in about 30 minutes. Okay, and Alex is uh, en route. Uh, he'll be late tonight, but he won't be late to the match. So. Okay. Well, he just got in from L.A. <laughs> Don't so. make sure uh, tomorrow he's going to be here uh, early. <laughs> yeah. um, there was a question on AZ, uh, Francisco, about uh, your time in Germany. Um, if some, somebody would know if you could just talk about your time in Germany. You yeah, know, just talk did, about your time what, in Germany. What, you know, what city did you live in and, you know, did you like it over there, that stuff? Did you hear him okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, when I was in Germany, I'm... I'm doing real good, and uh, uh, the people like me there, you know, and uh, the pool room where I work, so they love me so much. That's why <laughs> I stayed there uh, 12 years. And what city? A uh, small town uh, close to Hamburg. Uh, named the city is Kiel, K-I-E-L. -E 
Okay. Did you speak German pretty good after you? Well, I sp I speak German only street German, you know. I learned <laughs> street only German. <laughs> I, I, I learned only in TV, and then the uh, yeah. my uh, student they teach me. I can speak. <laughs> I never forget. <laughs> um, there was some more questions here. Uh, Did you play leagues or tournaments in Germany? It was asked. Do they have like pro leagues or no, tours yeah. over there? Yeah, I play league down there. Uh, they have uh, like a uh, league, uh, Bundesliga. The Bundesliga is like the class A, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and each, the, each room has them, don't they? Uh, yes, sir. Like they a... have a, uh, they call a uh, Bundesliga, Oberliga, B6 Liga, you know. It's like class A, class B, class C. And I play the uh, class A. And uh, we won uh, like a uh, three uh, German uh, championship down there. So you obviously knew Ralph and yes, Ralph, sir. Uh, Ralph Suke and Ralph Eckert and. Uh, oh, I know them very yeah, well. Yeah, long time probably. Yeah, it's a uh, long time. I know them yeah. since nineteen uh, nineties. Yeah, same. John Barton lived over there. John Barton Collins, you know. The, yeah. Yeah, he's. That's where he started his whole career. So. Um, I, I know them all. There was a question here. Uh, what's your record against Alex? Uh, both in gambling matches and tournament matches, and have you ever matched up in rotation? Uh, we never play gamble with Alex because uh, it's like a um, uh, friend, you know, he's my friend, and then we never play gamble. But we play a uh, lot of uh, matches in tournament, so both sides win, you know. Mm -hmm. He beat me, I beat him, but He's hot, you know. He's very young. <laughs> he's very good, too. Yeah, but he's going to be careful with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's got to be careful with Just you. Just tell, him, tell <laughs> him like that. Just be careful, the old man. <laughs> um, there's a question here. If there were to be a standardized men's tour, what game uh, slash rules would you like to use? So if there was a tour, what game would you like to see played? Well, I like uh, better the 10 ball, you know. That you'd rather have 10 ball than, say, 15 ball rotation? I'm yeah. just curious but myself. That's a good question. Yeah, because uh, 15 ball, is, they never have a tournament in uh, USA. So they don't know the uh, 15 balls. Mm -hmm. It's only in Philippines. But this is our uh, tradition. I grew up like that. And uh, in Philippines, everybody like play rotation. Yeah, because even 10 ball, you know, when the big switch came from 9 ball to 10 ball, Everybody thought it was such a tougher game, and they're starting to master the ten ball. Yeah. I think that's because of Shane showed the world how to break. <laughs> so it's, and, and I think this know. is a top uh, <clears throat> uh, game rotation for uh, any kind of uh, uh, games, you know. Yeah. Because rotation, you're gonna put the uh, one to fifteen, and you're gonna play like this, this, this kick shot or whatever, you know. It's. I know it's the toughest tough. game. That's the yeah. game I learned how to play a uh, hundred years ago. Yeah. So. Um, jump cues. Yes, no. Well, the jump cue, you know, I I just follow the rules. But uh, for myself, I don't like jump cue. Another one. Be because, I knew that was coming. Because uh, <laughs> because in Philippines we never play a jump cue. We have no. It's not allowed jump cue. And then uh, when uh, the Taiwan, you know. They allow the jump cue, so we have to learn. Well, you have to, you have, you have to be yeah. able to use it if that's but, what the rules uh, allow to protect yourself. But uh, if they, the, the, the rules is they allow the jump cue, so we have no choice. We, we just follow, mm -hmm. you know. But for myself, I don't like it. Well, you're among almost every player we've asked in the studio, and it's kind, of, it's just kind of an interesting dynamic, you know. Yeah, and you so. can play. Uh, it's like you play a real good shape, you know, and then your opponent he just jump like this simple and they make the ball you know it's not like it's not exciting so it's better you should kick and then if you make the ball that's more exciting yeah. you know? and you can jump with a full cue if you want you don't have any problem with that you just have yeah. a problem with the shorty cue is mm -hmm. that correct okay i got no yeah. stroke in jam cue. i just hit hard i can you know yeah. um why don't we just uh yeah, hit some balls. Or yeah, something? hit some balls. And what I, what I'm curious about, I don't know anything about rotation. You brought up rotation. 
Rotation is like 10 ball or 9 ball. You but does it, don't you add up to like 61 points or you something? You have to, to win by 61 points because this uh, ball is, all, if you count, it's all 120. 120 is the total count of all the balls. So, so we play 61 points. They have 61 points, win the game. Okay, well, why don't you and Kenny play a uh, game of rotation? Rotation? Yeah. Well, he might play b uh, good against me, you know, I, and then I, he might uh, Justin, change. Justin, actually, there's one thing I wanted to ask Here, Kenny. Yeah. Django, there's one thing I think not only me, but I think the whole world wants a, a little more information about. You have such a unique stroke. Nobody yeah. has a stroke like you. And everybody that's watched you play knows you have a very long, long bridge yeah. and your cue tip is always two or three inches from the ball when I, you address and it's always on the ground. Could you tell us, did, how did you, did you just start playing that way or did well, anybody you know, teach you? I, how I, did you develop No, it's that? nobody teach me. I just play uh, like that. When, uh, when I start playing pool, I play like that only and uh, nobody teach me about that. And a lot of people ask me, how can you do that? I say, I have no idea. I just, like this, you know. I just play like that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, that I want to ask him about, too. Yeah. I'm just talking about his regular stroke. And I played that so many years, yep. and uh, now a few years, you know, sometimes I got follow through, and then the cue has come out. Yeah. And I never did that before, only a yeah. few years now. Now, when I know when you break, your cue always seems yeah. to come all the way yeah. through your hand. Mm -hmm. It disappears, you know, you don't even see it, and then... You know, you come I think the, the reason I play uh, follow through like that, you know, all the way through, because I wanna be uh, the Q, uh, the the break you, the shaft, you know, be strong. When you hit the ball, is good, you know. Okay, but on your regular stroke, even though you always cue low, yeah, even if you know you're gonna hit it high, it's just automatic Same, yeah. for you. You don't even think anymore. No, about never it, thinking. Right? Yeah. Okay. I just play like that, you know. I don't. Okay. Care. All right. What Let's rack them up. A regular shape. Low deflection? Yeah. Regular shape? Regular shape. Well, you guys are racking these up. I want to uh, I want to talk about something here real quick. Um, it was uh, OB has, is launched or is, is releasing a new line of cues. So in the rotation, you can play like a 10 ball carol. Okay, we'll get to this after this. Then. But we have only uh, one rule, uh, uh, different rules. Because in temple, if you kick and then you have to hit twice. But this one, for example, this one in Philippines, if we play, uh, on, we play only one rail, this is good hit. Oh, I it's see. Like no rail after ball. contact. Any rail. Yeah, just only one rail. One rotation, that makes sense. Yeah. And in rotation, it's just like, it's really just nine, nine ball or ten ball. All you have to do yeah, is strike like the lowest ball on the table and whatever yes, falls yeah. in one, you get. One, two, three, it's like. How many racks is the most racks you've ever run in rotation? Well, I got before, it's uh, four. Four complete yeah. racks? Four. I heard. This is also, as I understand the rules. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the sub that if you break, if you yeah. break, you scratch, and then the one ball is here, you have to spot. Right, and it's cue and ball behind the, cue the ball line. Behind the line. Okay. Spot shots. But a anywhere. Is it called pocket or slot? No, we don't have. Uh, slot. We don't call uh, as long call pocket. As you long play. as you hit the lowest ball first, yeah. anything that goes in is yes, good. sir. Yeah. You can play whatever you want. Play safe, run out. It's interesting because in the U.S. with playing the nine ball and the ten ball rules, nobody even knows what a spot shot is anymore. Yeah. Because uh, in the old rules, like with rotation, you spot the lowest ball if it's in the kitchen. For example, yeah. this one, if, if this is safety, you cannot see the one ball. It's up to you if you can, you like to spot or you like to play. Your choice. You can spot the one ball? Yeah, for example, if safety like this, I can see the one ball. So if I say spot, and then the one ball in the spot, and then this cue ball is in the behind the line. Anytime oh, really? You yeah. Anytime you hook. Anytime hope, you're hooked. I did choice. not know that. Oh, okay. It's your choice. Okay. That's just a rule that's evolved because that's not a standard. That's a... Because we don't play call shot because too many balls. 
No, it's it's pretty tough sometimes. Yeah. Well, Kenny will like this if there's a little slop involved. I, I remember somebody asked Efren one time, "How's the how many?" It, was the most racks of rotation he'd run, and he said three. And somebody said only three, and Efren said, yeah, but I lost the flip the next time. So they were <laughs> flipping every time. So he had to win the flip and then run the rack. <laughs> yeah, this one, if you draw the, uh, the ball in my break, it's no good. Shut up. <laughs> Talking to his phone. Tell the people hello. Yeah, remember you got a mic on there, Boosty. Yeah. <laughs> I turn her up. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a question in the chat. Is Alex coming? Yes, he's said he's on his way. He just got into town, checked into his hotel, said he was going to grab a shower and head over. So, shouldn't take too long. Now, in the Philippines, they play matches yeah. like, what, uh, rotation race to 10, 11? I mean, long races or... Uh, it depends. Sometimes before we always play race to four. Race to four. Yeah, and sometimes we play uh, one game only. Okay. When I start play, we play only game. It's no race. But now, sometimes they play race to twenty. Race to twenty rotation. Yeah. Race to twenty. Race to eleven. Race to eleven. That's what I'd heard they were getting up in the around the teens. You know. Winner break or alternate? Winners break. And winner breaks. I'll repeat that because Kenny's not Mike, so. He was asking if it's winter or alternate. Winter breaks. So you don't have to hit a rail after contact. You just got to touch the ball. No. You got to hit a rail, but it can be before oh, contact. Oh, it can be before. Okay. It's like snooker. That's how snooker's played. So any rail and a ball. Yeah, right. right. Like snooker. Just like snooker. I think you're in trouble, Kenny. In trouble uh, when you rack them up. Well, I was just going to ask, do you guys ever have a problem in the Philippines with pattern racking in rotation? No, we don't have problem like that. <coughs> Probably just because of the number of balls. There's just more, it's, you know, it's just, you know. You know, I got a solution. I've been doing this for a while because there's been so many, so many, so many debates about pattern racking and all of that. And there's one way to put a stop to it. And that's you predetermine how the balls are going to be set, and they're the same every rack for every player for every game of the tournament. Oh, that's one. Now there's a. I'm not saying it's the best solution. It's a temporary solution to level the playing field and take all that stuff. Well, the way I look at it, in ten ball, it's already a pattern rack. One, two, three, in ten ball. There's only six balls you can <laughs> you can move. <laughs> That's true. I mean, when, the, when you've got but the one-two-three set. But it's much more, it, it's much more uh, of an issue in nine ball, of course, than it is in ten ball. Because, I mean. Nine I, balls are broken. Yeah. I mean, I do know that a lot of the players I've watched when they kind of pattern rack ten ball at all, they've got like the six-seven as the second row, and the eight-nine are the two back balls in the middle. So, because the ten never moves, and the eight-nine stay up here, yeah. the six-seven tend to get in the side. And now you got your one, two down there, the four rails and all that. So the, the real answer is if you go to your method of uh, designated positions, you would not, you'd have the, the six, nine, and the seven, eight. Or you'd break them down. I, I, I did it wrong, but you'd break them down where the balls are. You have to go back and forth up and down the table. It's, you know, it's, it's a debate. I think it, it only comes into play with the very elite players because I mean, the, you know, shortstop speed just – they find other ways to get themselves in trouble. I also wanted to uh, <clears throat> get around to asking Francisco how he, you asked them earlier, a really good question, what game would he like to see in tournament play and all of that. Well, with the uh, advent of the new US Open 8 ball coming here in July, I wanted to ask him how he feels about eight ball as a professional game. So Django, what do you think about eight ball for the pros? Well, the eight ball, you know, is look like easy, e yeah. e easy uh, <clears throat> games, but it's tough. When you miss the ball, you got no shot. It's not like nine ball. Even you miss in nine ball, sometimes you still can win. But in uh, eight ball, because too many balls, you know. 
And well, I think eight ball is tough. It is it, tough. It is tough, but yet. A lot of thinking, yet, a lot of strategy. Yeah. But a lot of strategy. Sometimes a guy gets in a gear, he can just run those tables. Do you know Thurston has run 32 racks of eight ball continuously? On a big on table? On a nine foot table in Germany. Right. And he did it the same year that he ran 404 four, four balls. I mean, he was on wow. fire that year. Yeah. He was the junior national champ, junior in, world's champion or something. One or two. Yeah. yeah, he was back there and he was yeah. like 17 or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But um, I have mixed feelings about eight ball on a big table. I mean, my attitude is. Bar table eight ball is almost better than big table eight ball in a way it because is. it's control and everything else. But we're doing the U.S. Open eight ball, and we're going to do it every year. And in that game, no jump cues are allowed. Yeah, I think they should. Yeah, uh, same thing as one pocket. Now, if I play yeah. you safe and I roll up here, you yeah. can then still have the three on the spot. Yeah, it's, it's my choice. And cue ball in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Kenny's that's asking if choice, he rolls Kenny. up safe. If you hook, if you hook me. That's my choice if I like to spot or I like to so play. So if that's the rule, Django, how it's hard to play. You can't play two-way shot, really. Yeah, two-way shot, yeah. How do you play? Well, you can, but you're still going to leave him the choice. What's the penalty? What's the penalty for an intentional foul? If you just roll up on the ball, that's an no, intentional that's foul. No, uh, that's no penalty. The penalty only if you, for example, if the ball is here outside the line. And then you make penalty, you scratch. So he got easy shot, you know. That's like ball in hand. But it's so uh, it's no penalty. If no I penalty. Just, no. If I just no, that, this is not allowed. I can't do that. Uh, you can do that. Okay, so you cannot take that type of foul. Yeah. But you but you could shoot up and hit hit the lowest numbered ball. But, but it, you wouldn't have hit a rail. That's why I was asking. If you just lag it up to that ball, that yeah. is. That's no it's penalty. Not illegal. Play, no penalty, but it's not a legal shot. Yeah. So. Oh, you try to play shape, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice, nice strike. And <laughs> how, how, how is it going to look if I beat, beat you in the game of this? I can't, I can't. So it's if, if you beat me, I buy you coffee. Oh, thanks. I walk uh, in 7-Eleven, it's like yeah. one and a half miles. If I beat you, I won't need coffee. <laughs> you have to bring me down. No, no. <laughs> well, they don't want to see me play anyway. How old were you when you started playing, Francisco? Uh, Twelve. And you live in the Philippines then? Yes, yeah, sir, in uh, uh, my town. When did you uh, pro move? Province. When, when did you move? When, when did you first come to the U.S.? Was it? Uh, uh, 1992. Yeah. Oh, at the, at that L.A. Open. Yeah. Yes, sir. Basically. Mm -hmm. But in Germany, it's 1990. Who's the best player you've ever seen, Francisco? Best player never seen. Ever seen? Who's I think they die already. Yeah. Who? <laughs> the American player. Like Moscone, I never see my life. It's Minnesota Pets, I see. No, I mean, who's the best you've ever seen? Who, who do you th who's the best player you've ever watched play? Oh, of course, Efren. <laughs> it's the man. <laughs> Why don't you tell us, how did you and Efren meet first time? How you meet Efren first time? In, in, uh, in, uh, the, uh, in Angeles City that time, I'm the best in this town, and I give all uh, handicap. Same level with me, I give uh, handicap. So I beat them, and then a friend came and gave me 40, 46 points. I say, <laughs> how, how, and I think uh, this guy, even is good, you know, and I'm playing good. How can he give me 46 points? And then my stakeholder said, play him. And I play him. I, I never shoot. I just shoot him, <laughs> you know. I break the ball and they sh never shoot. I say, what the heck? <laughs> How old were you? I was 20, 20. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you're already a good player. Yeah. yeah. Best in town. But you never. Best in town. Uh, At the same yeah. level with me, I give like 20 points. And it's still like I beat them. <laughs> When they play show up, give me 46 points. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
I never shoot. I just break the ball and he run out. I say, this guy is a genius, you know. <laughs> and uh, if I, even you good, you are number one in your town, and then you go in Manila, the big city, the main uh, uh, in Manila City. Hey, Tim, go ahead and push him. And then uh, he don't know you, he give you, I hear he give you 27 points. How do you do that? When I give, if you were to give me 27 points, what does that mean? You would have to go to 61 plus 27? No, Epren is going, this is 120, is going 93 points. So I'm going 27 points. If I make 27 points, I win. Yeah. 27 yeah. off of 120. Okay, well, that's, that's the fine. Guy needs. It's the 46 was such a yeah. monster number. He, he, he going to run out. He going to run out every game 14 balls, 1 to 14. Right. Because the 14 and 15, this is 29. So he not finished. Right. He have to shoot the uh, 14 wow. balls. Ball. Yeah. Only one ball left in the table to win the, uh, the game. <laughs> How how tough is that? <laughs> That's pretty tough. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's crazy this guy. <laughs> but now everybody play because he's old now. Yeah. Yeah, his game has definitely fallen off, but he's still a, a threat. Oh, he's still he's good still shape. a threat. Yeah. He just uh, he just say he's too old, but he's still he's still good. Yeah. Well, I remember at the Derby City about, ooh, it must be about three or four years ago. I think it was the first year at the casino. Mm -hmm. And Shane played Efren, a race to like 21 or something, and Shane won. And then the next night, you played Shane. Yeah. And you, and you beat him. Um, Justin will probably remember that one. I was, somewhere along the line, uh, uh, somebody hit the light switch accidentally. They were leaning against the wall. I can't remember if that was with you or with Efren. But, mm. That was uh, Efren. Was it with Efren? Yeah, yeah. And, and the rumor is Francisco is the one who hit the lights. Well, that's what Good I heard. Hit. <laughs> Good hit. I was wondering just if he... The two. Just touch the, the two. Shoot from right yeah, and then I shoot from there. Okay. But if you don't hit, that's my uh, choice. Spot and ball in hand. Yeah, or or spot shoot. or shoot. Spot or shoot. Okay. If you spot it, you have to take the cue ball. Yes, sir. Oh, you hit hard. Hey, while you guys are playing, I'm going to run through uh, some of these new cues from OBQs. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, as I was saying before, um, I'm going to go ahead and run through. These are some pictures, and I just saw these today. Uh, these are right from OB. I don't think they've been released anywhere. But they've got a new technology. And let me dig this up because I want to get the wording right. It's uh, <laughs> infinity inlays, which is a new inlay method that OB is, is using, which it's a pretty cool name. But I'm going to show you some pictures here real quick. What we'll do, um, this is the, the line of cues they're releasing. And this is the uh, OB131. Looks to be a six-point. Q and if you take a look, you probably can't tell on the stream, but uh, the points are dead sharp. And the cool thing is, uh, 131. Okay, here we go. Uh, the cool thing is, as you go through, it's the points as well as the inlays. This is 132, and these cues start, I want to say 595, and uh, go up to like 995. Um, but this cue here, let me give you an example. Do, 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 132. I don't like to walk one and a half miles. <laughs> Justin and I actually saw a couple of this those cues at the. Uh, well, they have to. Expo. Okay. Yep. And uh, but like this cue, the the retail price MSRP is six ninety five. So you know, as any production cue, you're going to be able to find that uh, a little lower than that. But um, so that's the one thirty two. This is their one thirty three cue, which uh, looks to be Coca Bolo and Ebony. 
and I'm guessing as these move on, you might be able. I don't know if they're going to take custom orders or not. Um, you could contact Shane or Royce at OB if you wanted to see if they would do something as far as different woods or whatever. Um, this is pretty cool. And when you when you see this, uh, I mean the pictures, they they really are dead sharp. And this cue right here is just a knockout. That's a rapless cue. I'm guessing Copabolo or Bloodwood uh, with some nice curl there. And uh, but that's a sick cue. And that's the OB135. And let me get you the price point on that one. But. Uh, that cue with your choice of the uh, OB shafts, the uh, MSRP of 895 So, like I said, I'm guessing you'll so find it you a little less like than that, that can, but that's pretty sick. You can achieve, um, and then you, you and that is no, with the OB1, no OB2 one. classic or so pro you shaft. Your choice. That's, that's your yeah. choice. Um, but just uh, wanted to show you guys something that uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, OB's this new technology with the uh, with uh, I'm a sharp pointed freak. If it's got radiuses on it, I don't I'm not interested in it. I don't care who made it or wow. what it's made out of. But uh, they did a really good oh, job go. on those. So right I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to getting some. Yeah, I actually saw those at the Super Billiards Expo, and those points are sharp. You might mention too that OB is the uh, Official cue of the uh, BCA Pool League amateur events this year in uh, July at the Rio, also. So, and they uh, not long ago actually started sponsoring Alex. He signed on with them. And uh, yeah, it, it's good to see some of the manufacturers support the game. I mean, I wish they all would, and some do and some don't. But OB's stands tall in that uh, area. So, and we thank them and we appreciate them. And he's trying to win a game. Yeah, he wants me to buy him coffee. But it's too late already. My opera is too late already. <laughs> Maybe he can make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Kenny we know and love. Thanks, Thanks Mark. That's all right. Anytime, anytime. I was playing for a better shot. Francisco, how yes, did sir. you learn to kick? How I learned to kick? Yeah. Well, you know, because when I was young, I play a uh, uh, carom, and then in rotation, even you don't play carom, you can still uh, learn how to kick. And uh, we don't look for the uh, uh, how do you call that? Diamonds. For, for the yeah, you diamonds. don't use the yeah. diamond. That's what Efren said. He, yeah, he, we he, don't look. We just feel it. Yeah, that's what he said was the biggest problem with the playing on the 10 foot table is uh, his aiming is off because he does it by feel and it's just so I just want to repeat that you guys don't use diamond systems when you kick no no we just feel it okay what about aiming systems you use any aiming systems or you just feel it yeah after? aiming system we, we use yeah. you use an aiming system yes sir yeah okay well, maybe we can get into that in a little while. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Uh, after, you, after you go ahead and crush because Kenny's dreams. Because the aiming is, depends the position. Sometimes you have to uh, play English, you know, and then cut the ball, and then put a lot of English, a lot of spin. By the way, I don't want to ignore, uh, but Ronnie Alcano came in the, and joined us a few minutes ago, so he's probably trying to figure out who he can pick on here. So. <laughs> He played very, very nicely against Mr. Shaw, our last event. But and Jason Shaw played pretty. I mean, so we're getting uh, introducing the world to a few more people. I mean, uh, Ronnie's uh, was known. I mean, he was a past double world champion in eight ball and nine ball. Psst. What happened? I know he didn't miss. He because missed. if I don't give a shot, he might don't talk to me no more. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give it a shot. <laughs> because I know if he beat me, he gonna put it in the internet. You know, I <laughs> you gonna put it on the internet? Yeah, and 
<laughs> Maybe he got a game. <laughs> He's playing hard. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a lot of fun, Kenny. How about you? <laughs> what, like there's pressure on me? <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on him. Right. He's just picking on you, Kenny. <laughs> he hit it three times and still didn't fall. Should have hit it harder. This is the first time you've ever played rotation? I grew up in rotation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, straight pool and rotation, then eight ball. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I've grown in Alaska. Yeah, we, we do things better up there. So I. No, the only thing that when I grew up playing rotation, you just had to kick at something. We didn't have the spot. We didn't, we didn't, yeah. We didn't have the spot option. Okay, the other shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was that aiming system. I saw him. I saw him pivot right before he shot. Hey, Grandpa. How are you, sir? Oh, okay. tournament, Pool. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you living uh, in Vegas now? Pretty much, or more in LA area? Okay. You're going to be in tomorrow, huh? All right. All righty, sir. Good seeing you again. Oh, it's okay. No, thank you. Oh. How you doing, buddy? Sama mo naman si Ronnie. Uh oh, Francisco! <laughs> 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 Cream and sugar. <laughs> ah. Cream and sugar. Let's go. <laughs> okay, sir. Nice meeting you. It's okay? Okay, what? what? Just talk oh, to the world. Oh, shit. Well, you want to take a cigarette break? Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead and take a break and let me uh, go over Let's some of this. Yeah, uh, we'll just no gorgeous. While we're doing it, that, that's actually a pretty good idea. Let me pull something up here. You guys I want to go ahead and plug our... Uh, let me turn his mic off. There we go. Um... I want to plug our Shane Van Boeing, inter, Boning, whatever. God, why can I not pronounce his last name when I say it out loud? It's the sickest thing in the world. Um, I want to say Boeing like the airplane. Um, the SVB Instructional Series. It's available video on demand now. Uh, you, and you get to download it. So let me, what am I looking for here? Browse. Um trying to find the file but you get to download the uh, there we go the file and keep it so you don't have to uh, you know you, you can watch it whenever you want um, is this working is this not working huh and once again, something that works always <laughs> stops working. All right, that's pretty sweet. Um, anyway, you can go sweat the uh, instructional video. Uh, the link's on our homepage there, just down at the bottom. And it's uh, the aiming portion of it. Jennifer Beretta um, is the host, kind of. She's the presenter. And Jennifer uh, goes through how Shane aims and Shane explains things and gives demonstrations it's uh 15 bucks 14.99 uh 33 minutes long the production value is outstanding uh five cameras clear andrew cleary did all of the uh, graphics and editing so it's uh it's a really cool cool little thing pretty proud of it so we have more coming out in the future we'll have the breaking coming out next shooting for early may on that and then we also will have uh, a running out portion of how Shane runs out and things like that. Um, and then we'll also have uh, uh, a mental game uh, where we basically sat down with him and went over different situations 
and things like that. And uh, it's pretty cool. But all that's coming out, and the aiming portion is available now. So go check that out. It's been getting some pretty good reviews, uh, uh, you know, just off of AZ and everything, especially especially for Mr. Cleary's work uh, and the, the technical side, I guess you would say, the actual audio-video stuff. So it's... Uh, there was a question, uh, is this match going to be VOD? No. Um, after this, the Shane Van, the SVB thing that we started on Vimeo, that's the first test of the VOD platform that I was able to figure out that makes the most sense for us to where we're not actually just, if we're lucky, breaking even. We could actually have a chance to make something because they're not charging us 60% of gross revenue just to have this stuff um so the answer is yes coming up these matches will start to be available on video on demand so you can watch them whenever you want uh soon and it unfortunately we just got super busy here we first it was the shane thing then it was uh this match and then we've got effort and shane next sunday so sometime in May, you will see the VOD of TAR matches, and it will be by day. So, like, in, for example, uh, this match, you know, when it's available on demand, day you'll be able to buy day one, which is eight ball. You'll be able to buy day two, which is, uh, you know, one pocket, or day three, ten ball. You can buy any, either one you want, and they'll be cheap. It'll probably be, like, five bucks a day. I think you're so right. you can have the whole match for, like, 15 bucks if you wanted. Um, so... That's coming. Ask him what his most memorable win. Are we back on with Mr. Francisco? Yeah, and I'm going to text that little dipshit oh, okay, Alex. Gonna, see where Justin's going to try and chase down uh, Mr. Alex. And uh, Kenny Schumann and Francisco are done outside smoking, polluting the air, but that's okay. And they, they've decided to play a little eight oh, ball. Sorry, sorry. So uh, let's see, Mr. Francisco, you are a world champion in eight ball, right? No, sir, uh, nine ball. Nine ball. Okay. I was thinking that that's the one you won a couple of years ago in uh, Doha. Uh, Doha. 2010. 2010, right. Is that your most memorable, most important win, or is there something else that yes, you... Yes, sir, that's my important that's win. That's the yeah. big one, huh? This, this tournament, the world... Right. Uh, championship. And you came I, in. I never win this. Again. Right. You came in second to Earl Strickland a few years before that. Yeah, uh, 2003. 2001. One? Uh, 2002. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's in uh, Cardiff. Right. Well, you've been a fixture in pool for, I mean, that's one nice thing about pool. You can get, it's not like football, you last three or four years. I mean, you've been a top flight player since, well, early 90s. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's uh, and, uh, that's I'm, over twenty that, years. That's my uh, my best uh, my my best game, nineteen ninety. I was so hot, you know. Yeah. And uh, I beat everybody. I win a lot of tournaments. You know. uh, there's some questions here. Uh, Alex just texted me. He said three minutes. Three or thirty? Three. Three oh. minutes. Maybe we sh maybe we should lock the door so Alex can't get That's in. It's a Filipino no. time, you know. Filipino, Filipino time, time, don't rush it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if this is if he say three minutes, gonna be this one twenty three minutes. <laughs> How do you think? Last time you played in this in a tar match, you played with the four and one eighth inch pockets, I believe. Yes, sir. You played, uh, was Shane. it Shane? Shane, yeah. yeah. How do you think it'll, uh, what's well, your discussion on pocket it, size? It, what do you feel? It, this is a very tough pocket, and uh, I'm glad, go tight on and I have no problem with that, you know, because I always play a, a small pocket in hard times, bell right, power. Right, right. And uh, for me, I have no problem okay. with that. Kenny, I'm going to, what I want to do is pass the microphone to you. Okay. And let's have some aiming discussions with him. Since he said he had an aiming system, before Alex gets in, because that'll start, you know, okay. is that cool? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, why don't, Francisco, why don't you uh, talk to us about, just go ahead and wipe the game out. Go ahead and talk to us about how you aim. Just leave the ball. You don't yeah. need the ball. No, no, no. Yeah. no per, per, per example, this one, if I play this one, 
I always aiming a little bit thicker. Hold on. Can you flip around and point towards the camera? Yeah. Here? Down, yeah. No, the other way. The cue ball Where, the other end of the table. Kenny, go flip him around so he's looking into the camera. Oh, back. This way. He looks, looks that way yeah. into the camera. For example, this one, if I play this one, I, I always uh, look a little bit thicker because I put uh, left English. So I have to put, uh, I have to look uh, this side. It's like uh, close here. But don't you also have to allow a little for the deflection for the cue ball? No. If I you're going to hit low left, yeah. isn't it going to go a little to the right when you hit it? You have to. Kenny, no, are you I'm seriously, not, I'm, are you I'm seriously? Not. Telling Francisco how I'm he should aim. When I play like this, you know, I just I just look a little bit thicker. Okay. And then I, I don't look uh for example, it's like you play normal. Sometimes you play normal, you have to look here, right? Right. And then it's me not. Because if I look here and then I gonna hit sometimes okay. here, you know. When you put English. When you don't put English and then you have to look uh uh regular. What, uh, shit, I had a question and just lost it. Um, well, let's say you're going to just, let's say you want to follow left English. Yeah, left okay? English. Oh, yeah, yeah the, that's what, it. No, you want to go high left, okay? How far, how many, how far to the left are you going to play? Like a half a tip, one well, tip? Well, it, it, it depends. For example, the, uh, the next ball is here. Okay. The next ball is here, so I'm going to put a lot of English. And then the, the cue ball is going close to the next ball. All right. So the the amount of English it's depends on the speed depends, of the, the depends shot with and the, the angle. next shot, yeah. Okay. Uh, the position. Okay. What's well, the last thing you look at? Let's see. What, before you pull the trigger to shoot, what's the last thing your eyes look at? Uh, cue the, ball or object ball? No, the object ball. Okay. Okay. The object ball, because uh, I look already the, the object ball. Okay, now let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. I'll give, make it easier for you here. You're jacked up, you got to play the 14. Yeah. Now when you're jacked up, what's the last thing you're going to look at? Same, Same. The, the object ball, because okay. I, I, Even, have to, I have to look first the cue ball and then the object ball, yeah. and cue ball again, and then I have to look now the, uh, I don't have to look the cue ball no more, only the object ball. Because I know where I, uh, where a uh, position I gonna hit the uh, object ball, uh, the cue ball. What type of a shot gives you the most problem? Yeah, this one. Over jack up. Yeah. Over a ball. I I can uh, I can uh, not no like before you know before I have no problem with that but now it's little bit uh, little bit shaking you know. I got no good position with that. If this is the position, mm -hmm. I got no position. I, I can't see the ball, you know. Okay. This is my biggest problem. And then like this, if I play like this. Close to the ball. Close to the ball. ball and sometimes I, yeah, sometimes I don't see the aiming. Mm -hmm. I just look like that. I just look like that. And then mm -hmm. I go for it fast. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think it, about it. Yeah, because if I look uh, uh, longer, make me confused, you know. And this is my problem. Okay. <clears throat> why? Wanna... Why do you always, when you're practicing, you know, when you're, you know, in your pre-shot, it mm -hmm. seems like your your cue tips always going towards the bottom of the cue ball. Is that just a habit? Well, this is only my style, Justin. But if I hit the uh, the cue ball, it's the same. For example. I play like this, I play like this, you know, when I hit this one, it's the same too. I just looking for the aiming, the cue ball, and then I can see better, you know, okay. the aiming with the object ball. Do you make adjustments, do you make any adjustments mm -hmm. on where, where you hold the cue and how long your bridge is no, depending on I don't the make, shot? It's the, uh, if I, I control the cue ball and then I make adjustments. Okay. If not, and then I have to same. But your hands on the cue, same place same every place. time. Yeah. You're not moving back here. It's, yeah. You know, unless you have to stretch. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then one last thing, because Alex just walked in. But one last thing I wanted to ask you: when you have to play position, you know, I I don't mean too sim not too simple. Yeah. You know, let's say. Uh,
You got you got to get the cue ball here for the nine. Yeah. Shooting this, you got to get here. Before you shoot, do you just look to see, or are you going to come around here and kind of pick out a spot that you want to be in? Do you pick a a, a spot, yeah, you or have, do you just you, play you, for area? No, you have to look how far, you know, because when you hit far, and then sometimes you know you're gonna hook yourself. Mm -hmm. So even you the cue ball here, you have to control too. It's not only like that you like to, the cue ball here, of course, yeah, but you, you know the timing, you know? Okay. And do you find that it's always better sometimes to maybe go a little too long rather well, than a little too short? It's no, a little right? bit too long. Okay. Could be hard, needed disc or something? Okay, here we go. We're joined by Mr. The Lion. Mr. Goliath. That's Mike. You're on. That's Mike. Mike, that's. You're hot. I'm hot. Mr. I know I'm hot. No, I'm <laughs> Somebody. Good to see you. Hey, hey, I... the world where you've been, seeing my old buddy now. Yeah. Hey, they, they make uh, They ask me about you. I say everything is good, you know? <laughs> I don't say bad. I, I just say fuck him. That's it. It's okay. It's not the first time I heard it. Yeah. I heard it a couple times. Yeah. Especially yeah, from my yours. exes. <laughs> Justin, I gotta give the uh, mic. Hey, to him? No, no, he's got one. Oh, he has He's good. Guys, yeah. Turn around so they can see you. Oh, we're yeah. going to hey. pop each other? So what Alex, you got? I just came back from the uh, One Pocket Invitational in New Jersey. Uh, tell us how you felt about uh, that, that event and uh, how you think you did. Um, you know what? From my condition, I... You have a mic. Go ahead. Yeah. Sir. Um, I know you were kind of hurt and your leg was bothering you. Yeah, well, my leg was bothering me, but I played pretty good and I really liked that event. Uh, I hope every one pocket on 5x10, I really liked it. So You might have been the only one that liked that 5x10, but well, you know, you're a little familiar with it. I'm, to be honest with you, not really, but I'm used to playing uh, a bigger table snooker, so I'm not... Alex, turn around and look at the camera. Well, the distance, <laughs> not really like... Um, uh, I mean, the wide of the table don't really bother me that much. How did uh, how did you uh, handle it on Mark. the break? Because I know the break what? was a little tough for a lot of people because of the bigger <laughs> table. You wound up kind of breaking kind of standard, didn't you? Yeah, because but the thing is, I don't think the the, the break is the problem. I think that how the uh, table racks. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Well. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Shane won that uh, event uh, going with uh, a 4 and one record. Uh, your match with Corey was, was a great match. Uh, I know it didn't come out the way you wanted it to there, but... Uh, what you want, Corey? I, I like the way Actually, he guys, came out. Do me I a favor. Three nothing. Ken, huh? flip, swap places with Alex. Stand over there. Yeah, there okay. we go. Okay. Oh, that's right. Who, <laughs> Who did you play? You had a two nothing lead, and you lost. A one nothing uh, against Scott. Scott, I was, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. running out, yeah. and I dropped my cue, That's and right. the, ball, the the whole balls moved, and yeah. It's... Well, the whole world knows, so we're going to embarrass you just one more time. Uh, Al Alex was over. Uh, he was getting ready to shoot, and uh, he lost his cue stick out of his bridge hand. His cue <laughs> hit two balls. It was a foul, and it turned the whole match around a little bit. That's what he thinks of that shot, you know. Is that Boosty laughing over there? Yeah, was Bo Boosty doing more than laughing. <laughs> there. Is that the side sound side effect? Yeah. 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 But anyway, let's let's put that be behind us for a second and talk about what's coming up here. Um, have you guys ever played in this type of an all-around format? Not yet. Okay. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay. That's the, person the only that time I can kick his ass. You know? Well, you weren't here a little earlier, and you said something about uh, you better bring your A game. <laughs> well, everybody talks about me, but good know. and bad. I mean, you know, they're all gonna talk. Well, it's a good thing, you know. All right, let's uh, let's handicap it a little bit. Uh, let's talk about the eight ball. That's tomorrow night. That's the opening match. How do you see the eight ball coming out? Well, yeah, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really know because I don't even know how good I play eight ball, right? But I learn quick. <laughs> but uh, mind you, yeah. you're playing one of the greatest pool players that ever lived. I mean, he's one of my idols at one time, but not anymore. <laughs> I mean, nah, I'm just fine. He's still my one of my favorite player, and he's not only that, work, he's my buddy too as well. Well, for me, he's my buddy. He don't think that, you know. But uh, well, he won't be after three days from now. 
Yeah, that's but for sure. you know, bo you know, you never know with boosting. Boosting, if he's on, I mean, like, I don't think there's any human being can beat that guy. But that rarely happens now, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everybody is expecting this to go pretty much to the wire on all three disciplines. I mean, there's just uh, there's just no air between the two of you, so uh, it's probably pointless to talk about predictions and outcomes. You guys are going to put on a great show. So let's talk a minute about your OBQ. Oh. Because you have now been with OB, what, about a year? Maybe yeah. a little less than a year? And, uh, six months. Okay, six months now? Okay. How do you how do you feel now with the equipment? Are you fully comfortable or you're still adjusting a little bit? Well, I tell you what. Um, the first cue that I, that cue, I used it first time. First day, I used it at the U.S. Open. Right. I, I said I hit a couple of balls. I told to um, Royce and Shane uh, Shinot. I told him I'm gonna use this. Next thing you know, I'm in the semifinal, and I uh, played the two uh, greatest pool player right now. I mean, I mean they both play good. If they didn't play good, I would have won the whole thing, mm -hmm. you know. And then I went to the Derby, won that one, the nine ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, my worst finish lately with that cue was the uh, the uh, Valley Forge, yeah. third place. <laughs> I came second in a one pocket, although there's only two of yeah. us. But. Did you use it at uh, Swanee? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That, the okay. Swanee. But I, I had a, well, no excuses. Yeah. I got no, a big yeah. match with Scott yeah. Frost, right? Yeah. So right. I right. kind of like didn't want to yeah. get tired, you know. No, you made a good decision. Yeah, you made right. a good decision there. What kind of tip do you have on it, Alex? Well, I've been experimenting, actually. What kinds of tip right now? Um, I'm still searching for the best one because um, I'm trying what, to avoid that. Uh, what did you play with all those years with your older Triangle. Team? Uh, I tried the Moray. And the Moray doesn't make them it, the way it used to be. And uh, the triangle, um, I pressed him, and you know, one out of ten or two out of ten, you find a good one, and so then it gets bad, and you just gotta get lucky, right? What do you have on there now? I have a Zen tip. That's what they call it. It's a Japanese tip. Layered. Layered, layered tip, but it's not leather. It's I think it's a fan plastic. I don't know. Really? Well, it's, it okay. hits pretty good, I but. We'll see. What I, size is your shaft? My shaft, probably 12.3. Uh, 12.3, 12 that's very thin. Yeah. Uh, you, but, you always the, play with uh, that narrow? Yes, yeah, but the okay. thing is, it's not a pro taper. It's in between uh, oh, a okay. uh, snooker taper and, uh, yeah. and a Could uh, you pool set taper. The other camera? Okay. So it's, it's it's fat in the middle, so it's not really thin. Mm -hmm. So. Alex, we were talking to Django a little bit ago, and we asked him uh, what what yeah, tight. he felt his biggest tournament win was in his Actually, career, and he said boosty. it was the World Nine Ball that he won a couple of go, years perfect. ago. I'm yeah. going to ask you the same question. You got a, a World Nine Ball title, a U.S. Open title, a, a lot of titles. In your mind, what uh, what stands out as your biggest win in your professional career, at least as you see it? Well, um, it's got to be the World Championship. Sure. I mean, that's what every oh every pool player that wanted to win, right? And also the U.S. Open, of course. But every tournament, I mean, like the Derby, the nine ball Derby, that felt really good because it's been 11 years. I finally won one. So it's hard to say which one sure. it is, right? Yeah, it's like asking you which one of your kids you like the best. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we we understand. Which, what's your What's your favorite event? Do you have Do you have a favorite? Yes, it's got to be Derby City. It's my okay. favorite event. Uh, well, you know, I'm gonna. <laughs> Open something up here that people have been discussing a little bit. We've got the Southern Classic coming up in June. That's also my other favorite. <laughs> yeah, now, there was a, a change to the prize structure, prize fund structure for the Southern Classic. There's no more all around prize money right. at the Southern Classic. Greg took that same money, the 25000 that went to the all around, and he redistributed it through the three divisions and the 10 ball, Bigfoot 10 ball. Ah, challenge. Okay. So now there's no more all-around championship, but there's bigger money in each division. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to ask you how you feel about that. Um, I think a lot of people like the fact that only Derby really is the all-around champion. But right. Do you like the all-around at Southern Classic too, or you like a little bigger prize fund in 
each event? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't Save really, money. I mean, I, mean I don't really mind, but the only um, players that that hurt that was the one who could be capable of winning everything, all, right? Yeah. Obviously, I'm one of them, um, but I never won one, but I don't really... I think I'm going to win the all-around this this year because they took it out. <laughs> hey, I, I got a question for you, Alex. It yeah. was off of the uh, AZ Billiards uh, site, and the person asked, last time you were here, you told a story about when you and Corey were on the road, were in, uh, wrecking the car. Uh, could you tell some more stories back when you and Corey were on the road together? And, and tell us how long were you guys together and out running around and how old were you? For anybody that doesn't know. Who's asking that? Huh? That somebody? Yeah. We have to talk about how I wrecked his car? No, no, no. You told the story. No, told I did us. tell the story. Yeah, uh, you did on the last podcast. Yeah, you uh, told the story. No, not me. I don't like to okay. tell a story. No, I'm just <laughs> well, um, you, you could do your Corey Doolin impersonation. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I start. Um, how did you guys get together? Well, I when I went to uh, Fast Eddie Billiards, and I'm... I'm new. First time I uh, came to uh, United States, and uh, how old were you? I was like 17 years old, right? Uh -huh. And I wanted to go on the road. And that kid Corey came up to me, and uh, I didn't know the guy, right? He says, uh, "You know, you want to go on the road together," but everybody told me not to go even near that guy, right? <laughs> so I mean, the guy, I mean. There's nothing wrong with the guy. I mean, I think, well, not until you go on the road with the guy, and then there is something wrong, right? <laughs> I mean, all he likes to eat is McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. So anyway, uh, to make long story short, I ended up going on the road with the guy. I mean, we went all over the places. He had this big yellow Cadillac. It's like, it looks like a yellow submarine to me. It was so big, right? <laughs> When you actually sit, I mean, the, the, actually, the sit, there's no divider. It's just one, it's like a couch, it's a couch. right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, so anyway, I don't know how to drive back then, right? So I'm playing the guy for a thousand. I beat him for like 20 something hundred, right? So on the way back, I told Corey, can I practice uh, driving with your car? He said, yeah. <laughs> so I was in the parking, parking lot, lot, right? Yeah. I didn't even know I jammed that wheel on all the way to the left, like, you know, pretend to one of those, like, a race car driver, and then, <laughs> bang, I hit that car. I said, oh, my God, whose car was that? The guy I beat for 2800 <laughs> <laughs> So I have to give all the money back to that guy, you know. So anyway, that was a good story. So. <laughs> You got any more stories when yes, you guys are out I there? Yes, I think we... No, we, not, not the one story, I, I, not the story story, but... Good stories. Good story. Yeah. Like this one. Did, have you guys seen the Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> this is the uh, pool uh, player's version of the Dumb and... I mean, this is the pool version, right? So me and Corey, we went to the airport a day early. I didn't know. I'm the dumb. He's the dumber. He went with me. <laughs> <laughs> he trusted you. Uh, I think that's pretty funny. What was the biggest score you guys made when you were out there together? Well, he was on the beach every day. I was working, <laughs> playing pool every single day. You know why? He probably made like uh, almost forty thousand. Yeah. He never even sweat one mat, one 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 game. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing every day. He says, I, 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 you know, keep telling him, let's go to the pool room. No, I'm going to the beach. <laughs> I know one thing: we cannot make money over there. I mean, <laughs> all we're gonna find there is fish and uh, <laughs> corals. I said, I'm going to the pool and I'm trying to get some action. And every day I'm in action. So, and then I come to the hotel and, hey, bro, we won 10,000. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, hey, better that way. I mean, if he shows up in the pool room, he might knock the action. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. We were talking earlier to Francisco about some of his unique stroke and aiming techniques. Let's talk a little about your aiming technique, Alex. Uh, can you describe generally your approach when you're down over the ball, what you're looking at, what you're thinking? Yeah, just have him uh, get his cue and then, you know, same deal with Francisco, set up the same shot. And then well, Alex, if I'm you can... I'm probably uh, one of the weirdest pool player out there because I'm... I'm I aim so many different ways. I stroke so many different ways. Whatever works. 
uh, when I'm nervous, I stroke different. When I'm free stroking, I stroke different. When I, Is I it, like sometimes I like the snooker stroke, the billiard stroke, the what, poke what, stroke. What makes you decide which of those strokes you use? Is it purely how you feel over the shot, or what the shot requires? What what makes Both. you okay? Whatever you, uh, you Look, needed to put. Okay. I mean, and then but the you, other one, if when you, I mean, I'm. So, sometimes when I'm nervous and like I'm not comfy, I stroke different. Okay. So, but you're you're not consciously thinking about it. It's just what you do when you yeah, whatever the shot, feels, whatever, whatever feels good. Yeah, yeah, whatever feels good when down on the shots. Like I could be stroking this ball like this, right? Mm -hmm. Or I could be stroking like a long stroke. You know what I mean? Like. Pause a little bit. It, right. it just depends. Yeah. How so I, you uh, change. Yeah. Because we've, I've noticed, I've watched you so much yeah. over the years. Your your pause sometimes is different. Yeah, it's, it's very just different like, as it is. Just, it, it depends how I feel. So. Yeah, and you you do hold the cue at different positions yeah. back here as well. I asked Francisco. He 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 rarely moves, but I know you move around a lot on your cue. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's, I, I don't know if it's good or not, but. I just do whatever I feel. Well, that's you know, all. you might grow up to be good at this game, so you might want to. Yeah. You might stick but with it. But all I know, bit. you know, the old saying: if making money is wrong, yeah. I don't want to be right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, what's the last thing you look at before you pull the trigger? Same thing. Different just, every time? Yeah. Really? I just look whatever I want, my eyes wants to see. <laughs> Dude, the aiming system guys on the forum heads are all exploding right now. <laughs> yeah, the, aim, the aiming system. Oh, my God. Just, okay. See, no, the, I wasn't, wasn't going to get see, into that, that so much. But well, I mean, if it works for them, right? Yeah, good well, no, for them. I mean, what, what did, do, you, do you use any kind of systems? Kicking, aiming, anything? I use the feel system. Yeah. That's okay. the best system yeah. there is. Same on kick shots? Same feel. on everything. Yeah. Every, every table is different. Every pocket is different. Every, the table is wet, dry. It depends, right? Mm -hmm. You just got to deal with what you have in front of you. Okay. You know what I mean? Everything is different. When you go to Hawaii, everything goes short, you know? You're li liable to scratch in the side from here. Or if the cue was over here, really? in Hawaii, sure. two rails like this, right, like that, he's oh, scratching the, in the side, right? It's, who cues this? Mine. It's just. Oh my God, it's good, but my cue is better. OB is better. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, he just broke the tip. Yeah. But Thanks, Alex. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so. So. Um, it's different as far as... Let me ask the chat room if they got any questions okay. for... Uh, uh, no love life. Okay. Anything no. but love life. <laughs> All right? What's your favorite game? Do you have a favorite? What's my favorite game? Whatever they bet Whatever the, the, bet most, the money. most money. That's my favorite game. Okay. <laughs> I like my... To be honest with you, my favorite game is the one they can't beat me at. I like that game. That's my favorite. Is this 5 by 10 Alex, like come on. It just looks like it. Everything looks like a 5 by 10 to you. Yeah. Alex, Even when you do, when you put any practice time in, I know you travel so much and you don't have a lot of time, but when you do put some practice time in, how do you practice? Do you do drills? Do you hit balls? What do you work on? Whatever you need to work on. Okay, right now, what would you be thinking of working on if you had a couple hours to put in? I would like to work on my... Um, Poker game? Yeah, <laughs> my preparation, I think. That's the, one of the, my, right now I need to work on my focus, my preparation, and so that, that right now that's my, actually my goal right now. I, I'm having a hard time to stay focused right now, especially you know, when, when I'm looking myself in the mirror. So. Alex, <laughs> you ever do any drills? Uh, yes, uh, sometimes, um, uh, what, what? Uh, if I'm aiming bad, I cannot see where I'm aiming. I'm just shooting straight shot for hours and hours until my goal is to make like 100 in a row. And if until I make 100, then I won't stop, right? So okay. it um, just depends, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't we get you guys, get your, uh, your partner up there, your nemesis, your foe, your opponent, and you guys uh, play a couple games of rotation for us. Rotation? Yeah, you remember how to play that? No. Francisco will Sorry. teach you. He'll teach you. He taught me. I'm drinking now. I'm drunk now. 
You're drinking? Good, man. We wow. should drink when we're playing. All right, Boosty. Crack him up, bro. Asa si Tonton. Bukas pa. Sama sila dyan, chap. <laughs> uh, do you have a newspaper for him? A newspaper? Yeah, he might, he's going to need it oh, right now. Oh, because keep himself busy? <laughs> now, now, Francisco, if you're playing it's in the Philippines for money, down. is it allowed to simply pick the one ball up and do that? Yeah, if you, you can't don't, see you, it. You don't have this to actually is, hit the cue ball, right? You don't right? have to okay. ask him. It's automatic spot. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Mare. Papuntay mo na ako dito. Papuntay ka mo na. Can I shoot for him? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We'll shoot for you, Boosty. <laughs> Come on. It's that cue. It's terrible. Are, mm. It's Boosty's mm. shot now, though. Huh? Boosty's shot. For him, it's shot, his shot. We're playing scotch double. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. Yeah. Ready? I think you got to take this out. This is. Oh. Yeah. Give us an OBQ patch. We'll put it right on there. Yeah. Boosty, don't. Try this at home, all right? <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to play off the cue ball and position, Jesus. We're gonna kick uh, TAR 33 off tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern, it'll be the uh, eight ball. Uh, discipline tomorrow, Alex and Boosty race to, uh, I believe it's race to 20 in eight ball. Come on, hit it a little bit. Uh, you. Boosty, I just, can you text it to her or whoever? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, that's it. I'm out. If I don't get out from here, that's it. I'm work, working at McDonald's. Hello. Hello there. Hey. Oh, no. What trouble? I have bad news for these guys. My middle name is Trouble. Starts with a T and rhymes with P that stands for poop. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, God. That was Boosty's huh? shot. Yeah. Boosty's shot. Yeah. Alex, I'm not sure a lot of people have ever seen you wear glasses before. Is this something new or? Uh, it's a dis disguise. Is it just uh, you're oh, trying, to, trying to look cool? Yeah. yeah. I don't think you need any help looking cool, Alex. Cool. Yeah. What? <laughs> no kidding. All right. Oh. It's hard to miss that ball. How the hell you missed this one yeah. there? Ooh, nice. Hey. Nice to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> is that your Alex? Alex, is that your Boosty imitation? Yeah. A little bit? Well, you know. Can you do a Shane imitation? What? Can you? <laughs> Shane. He can't, he can't be me. <laughs> 
Nej, nej. <laughs> What about an effort imitation? Have you ever seen the Cory Dual Walk? That's, no. You got to do the Cory Walk. <laughs> See? I just got mouth. <laughs> oh. uh. All right, guys. Uh, what? Let's see who's who's gonna win. Who's going to win? Yeah. Can't, we can't tell you guys. <laughs> no, I mean this game. Oh, this game? I'm playing billiards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, na, 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 na. How'd you get here, Boosty? I swim. You swim? <laughs> yeah. But you can't swim. Really? Do you? galing ako sa ano eh. Uh, New Jersey. Today? No, yesterday. No, no, no. Oh. Tell me a story, Alex. What? Tell me a story. Uh, I got lots of good ones, but I can't tell. I can't kiss and tell. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I'm wondering if there's a, some viewers out there that don't know the story that took place when you won the U.S. Open with the uh, with the time clock and all of that. Wasn't that the year you won with the no. the time running out? No, that's the one I came second. Yeah, oh, that the year before? That, huh? <laughs> huh? I thought that was your the year you won. No, it wasn't. That was the time that I came oh, was, second. Was that Ralph? That was Ralph. Yeah. What happened? Well, they, they, go ahead, Alex. You tell the story. I wanted to go to the bathroom, like in the middle of the match, and I have to hold it for like two hours. The the, the broadcast was live for the first time, uh, I guess, um, and they had a, I think, a three-hour time slot booked. And when the time was up, the the the, the screen was going to go dark. There was no way to extend it, so they. Got near the end, and the match was, you know, not going as quick as it could. And what year was this? Nah, I think, but but Barry this Berman was, he think it was uses all the time. I think it was 2002. Okay. Barry Berman uses like an hour and a half. Well, of course. Teaching uh, yeah. how is this and that yeah. in 30 years, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and you know, yeah. you know how it is. Hit it. So what? I mean, they were worried about uh, everybody watching this thing, and no one would see the finish because the screen was going to go dark, and that's why they couldn't—they wouldn't let Alex go to the bathroom yeah. for like two hours. And, and then they call me unsportsmanship when I after I went running to the bathroom. Is just... what are you gonna do? Mm. Well, I anyway, he got his revenge the next year. No, it's not. Uh, mm. Three years later. Three years later, yeah, oh five. <laughs> Somebody uh, wanted to ask about leaving your queue in the cab during the World Championships? No, that was the uh, the uh, Kansai Open last year. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got lucky on that one. I was talking on the phone, and I didn't know we have to get off, right? So in about 10 minutes, I forgot my, my queue is not with me. Luckily, that... The driver was a lady, right? And it's, she got stuck on traffic, right? And there's like, what, hundreds of taxis. I said, oh, that's the lady. And then I saw my cue, hello. <laughs> hello. And then I won the tournament, hello. And I won my tawo Yeah. Safety. Safe. Can't miss this one. <laughs> <laughs>
I ain't gonna miss this one. Are you? <laughs> patay. You know, patay. All right, there's something that a lot of people have brought up. Which one? Uh, Do I like well, her? Yeah. Well, either you, both of you, and I know the answer will be yes, but people want to know if uh, the winner of this match will play the winner of Shane and Efren. Well, I tell you what. I can't tell you what. But yeah. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. For well, sure. Play Shay? Yeah, whoever. Yeah. Whoever wins. The problem is just, you know, you guys travel so much, it's hard to get you in one place. Yeah, I, I tell you what, if Shane's better enough, I think Boosty will come up. Oh, you don't mind staying, right, Boosty? <laughs> you don't mind staying. <laughs> They're better enough? Yeah. Yeah, see? That's Boosty. Where are you headed after this, I, I, Alex? You going back to uh, Philippines? Uh, Where are you living now? Where are you based out still, of? Still, my suitcase. Suitcase? <laughs> I think you guys should make it happen. Uh, me and Shane again, three uh, three events. You want to do three events? Yeah. Uh, actually, my stakers want to bet 50, so. Okay. If, well, they I, want, if you I, guys we can make it happen, that would be great. Well, I, I can make the match happen. Huh? I can make the match happen. Yeah. Yeah. That will be... It just depends. Now the fifty's up to you guys. I got nothing to do with that. Well, I mean that's the. It's the. I'm from the Pumastani. Greg is put on. Ano sa? Pero mahirap yun. Chino. Bakit may pupusta kay Shadeit? Pero fifty. My stakers wanted to bet. Fuck, I don't care. It's good. But he wanted to three games. What Bank, kind of game? One pocket. Banks, one pocket and ten ball. Banks, huh? Yeah, three games. He That's says I cannot beat him ten ball, <laughs> and uh, he cannot beat me with banks and one pocket. It's about even. So why don't you just play a fifty thousand dollars set of one pocket? Uh, well, that that uh, that will be great. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, the guy wants to bet. I mean, he thinks I'm the best one pocket now because I beat. Frost. Scott, yeah, right. Yeah, why don't you talk about that match a little bit? That was... There's nothing to talk about, uh, was Justin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, man, I mean, everybody saw it. There's no secret. Um, but, you know, you just came out. It wasn't even close. Well, mm. I, I I didn't know. I I just came out firing. I just made it, everything from everywhere, right? And uh, my thinking, my head was right. I didn't know. I, I felt like... Um, I'm thinking like Efren and executing at the same time. It's just, and then the table was pretty hard for him. The table was too, too hard to play. You think he made a mistake playing you on that table? What is that? You think he made a mistake playing you on that table? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an eight ahead Yeah, it was no, eight. How long did it take? It took seven and a half hours. It was, it was pretty good. So everybody thinks it's gonna, it's gonna last for like two, three days. That's what I thought too. I mean, that's what I thought. <laughs> I saved that, save. Yeah. yeah, it was the table. Was, he didn't like the table, I can tell. Yeah, that table's brutal anyway. Yeah, if but, you're not uh, used to playing. Uh, well, you had just finished playing. You and Shane played a. Yeah, but we played on the other. Uh, yeah, but I mean, but still, you were playing one pocket against a great player for. Three days. Yeah. That one I don't understand. How did, how did that go? He got up on you, and then you made yeah, a big was, comeback? Yeah, uh, we were playing. Uh, I was stuck 13,000, and we were playing 2,000 a game. And then we, the next day, the last day, the third day, I beat him. I won seven games, and he quit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Boosty. I love you, but I got to play safe. <sighs> Ken, you got anything else? 
Uh, 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 uh. Just want to remind everybody, Justin, uh, of the uh, start times again, uh, 5 o'clock uh, every day Pacific. Uh, be eight ball to start, uh, followed by one pocket. Uh, what's, what's the one pocket race? Is eight. it to eight? And then a race to 27 and 10 ball on Sunday. And uh, we are, it is available in HD. Again, we have that option, the 1280 by 720 player uh, with the higher bit rate. Um, same thing, thing as last time. Hopefully we get more people <laughs> last time. So if you haven't uh, seen it before, what it is is it's uh, the HD package also comes with access to the SD stream, which is a 640 by 360 player at a smaller bit rate. Uh, so if you've got lower bandwidth or if you want to watch it on a phone or an iPad, uh, you can do that. Um, but all that stuff, all the links are up, ready to go. Um, we will be kicking off. Uh, the live stream will actually start tomorrow about 4.30. Um, and then we go. The match is scheduled to start at 5. Uh -huh. So uh, just want to thank our sponsors, OB, Kamui, CSI. And uh, thank the players, Alex and uh, Francisco. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Okay. Mark, you got anything? No, sir. Yeah, well, if you have aces and there's like eight players, you just got to re-race it back. So, you know, you, know, you got to not... <laughs> hey, did Boosty of... tell you his bad beat story? Uh, no, not again. Boosty, did... tell me a bad what, beat did... story. What, okay. did, did his pare, pare. wife beat him up again? No, here, pare. listen. That's bad beat. Kagabi, naglaro ko sa win. What? English, you got to tell it in English so we can hear it. Pake tocho. Oh. Yung kasunod ko, nag-race, 22. Sumunod lang ako. Oh. Ang plap, apat kami. Ang plap, pare. Boosty, can you tell it in English? Yeah. Yeah. How much? <laughs> Just the threes and the yeah. fours and the eights. No, I got pocket eight. And then before uh, before me, the guy raised 22. So I call four people in the board. And then the plots come out eight, four, three. I got pocket eight. So I'm the last one. I'm in the bottom. And then uh, the two guys check. The racer bet 55. So I make 110. Two guys out. And then the guy, he go all in. I say, okay, call. Show the car. He got pocket four. I got pocket eight. No way, he didn't get the four. No. <laughs> Turn is four. Holy fuck. Turn is four. Isn't that, that brutal? I oh, was so shit. shit. 300. <laughs> I chased, I gonna win like 500 this end, you know? Oh, uh, man. I mean, the sickest bad beat story I ever seen was uh, the guy I was playing with the um, about a couple years ago. And he was getting bad beats so, you know, like for a couple months, right? And now, he had the nut flush. There's, there's the board, there's the flush. He had, he had the nut flush. The guy bets, and he re-raised. The guy re-raised, he went all in. And the guy was thinking, and he had a phone call that his house is on fire. <laughs> right? This is a true story. So the guy is thinking, 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 in the pot's about $8,000, right? It can't slide to the left. You know, he, he, says, fuck, fuck. he says, fuck this, I'm going to my house, right? Yeah. You know, the, the house was on fire. So he has to lose the hand. Meanwhile, he's supposed to win the hand, right? <laughs> so make long story short, right? He, so he lost everything in his house. You know who burnt the house? His ex-girlfriend. Ex <laughs> who burnt the house? The ex-girlfriend burnt the house. And I said about three days later, right? I told him, bro, you really got burned. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't say right after. I mean, like he went back to the poker poker room, and then, and then I didn't. We didn't say anything. We felt, you know, sorry for the guy, right? But three days later, and he's all, you know, happy again. And he says, he's, the house worth it was worth it that she burned it because now she's out of my life." She says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it. Anything you guys want to say before we wrap it up for tonight? Uh, uh, yes. 
Um, I need some steak or to play some cards tonight. Anyone <laughs> interested? <laughs> you know, I never been beat at the game. Uh huh. I just ran out of money a couple of times. But <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. All right, uh, love you guys. Yeah, don't forget to check my website, by the way, alexpagline.com. Quit pulling on the mic. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, that's it. We want to uh, once again thank our sponsor, OB, as well as Kamui and Q Sports International. And. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. We want to thank everyone for joining us. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow, 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern, Tar 33. These two kick off the all-around with eight-ball match. We appreciate it if you could push it on Facebook, share it with your friends, let them know what's going on. And uh, we hope everyone joins us. And we will uh, see you guys this weekend. Thank you.